I tell you, I think that um, I always knew you were a genius. So why don't I show you some oils? Yes. Sidi Yusuf is a man of, of very, very high taste. I'll tell you something, actually. You're the one who ruined me. I ruined you? Okay. I'm going to... And you can uh, cut out of this long-winded and boring or anything like that. So, one time I was in my parents' house and I opened the bathroom cabinet underneath and I found one of those really tacky Arabic perfumes that my mother, this is like 15 years ago or 12 years ago or something, that a friend of my mother had given her mm. that she um, yeah, didn't like. My mother doesn't like these things. I thought I'd try and spray it, and it was one of those fake, oldy smelling perfumes, right? Right. And I thought that I knew it's like, not, you know, it's nothing special, but I was like, man, this is something like from Bahrain when I grew up. This is like a smell from a long, long time ago, my, my childhood. Right. And I remember like smelling the smell and being so affected by it. And, um, and then I went, I was on like a mission after that, that I want to find, because the smell, to me, had the concept that it was a smell of paradise. Right. Right? Right. And I had this search that I was going to find, and you know, I was going to start, and I started Googling and Oud and what and what and this and that. And I spent about four years going to when I go to the Gulf for work, when I go to this, buying the most expensive garbage. <laughs> I wasted so much money <laughs> buying wood that's fake, buying oil that's DOP, is what it's called, buying the all garbage, garbage, garbage. Now, when I was Googling and I came across uh, your website. Right. And this uh, kind of adventure, white guy, old fanatic, and the, the blog, and I started reading the blog, and I was like, oh, you know, like, starting to get educational understanding and all that stuff, and I think I ordered from Dubai, I was at work in Dubai at the time, oh. ordered your samples, right? which I still have, really? traces them out, because right? I don't throw these things away. And then I started the obsession with, oh, it's so expensive, I can't believe all these samples for I don't know how much all this stuff. <laughs> you know, like, I've really gone out there, right? Yeah. And then the next, maybe six months later, a year later, I went to Dubai again for oh. work. And I'm always, like, checking website, checking this, and I said, Dubai Festival. I'm like, oh, it's the dates I'm here. I made an appointment to come see you. It was such a pleasure and honor to meet you. And, uh, it was, you know, it was a very nice, all that stuff. But I remember coming in, you know, maybe I'm going to spend, like, $50. Right. I'm a humble guy. <laughs> and I left there, I think I spent and talking to you and I'm like, I don't know how this guy tricked me. I left you having spent I think four hundred and fifty dollars. And I was like Only? No, no, that's the thing. And I was like, I can't believe it, you're such an idiot, you said, you're such a sucker. You just go around there like these little things of perfume, four hundred and fifty dollars, all that stuff. Had I known that was the beginning of a <laughs> long, expensive love affair, I would have like run away then. But I tell you something, I look back at those and every each one of them, like you said to the CD head, you know, each one of them is, uh, even the lowest that you sell, is, uh, is good. It's, it's, it's been like we said, that plan in it and passion put into it. Yeah. This is for sure because I still have, you know, because I don't, Maybe I keep buying so much I don't finish what I buy, but but uh, I discovered that there are levels and levels and levels and yeah. levels, and uh, and every time I leave you, I think, oh, you're such an idiot. You said you could have bought a car. You could have bought. <laughs> That's why you can't afford the mosaic tiles in your bathroom. <laughs> I don't know what mosaic <laughs> tiles in your bathroom. <laughs> but um, yeah, it's. It's been a real gift having met you. Well, that's the, the gift. I'm the, the recipient is me. I mean, you know, I'm the one who's received the gift. Uh, you know, it's uh, 
people like yourself that make this worthwhile for me. You know, because if, if it wasn't like that, if it wasn't where it's personally enriching by, you know, by receiving gratitude and, and giving gratitude, right? That's what makes life, you know, uh, fulfilling and, and uh, happy and brings, enters happiness into people's lives is having this feeling of like rewarding experiences, you know, making people happy, being a source of entering happiness into their lives. In turn, you get the same for yourself. So, I don't know what kind of uh, feelings the people who gave you the stuff in Bahrain are experiencing in terms of the fake DOP stuff that was supposed to be the mm. the, the apex of uh, Mount Everest. <laughs> yeah, of course, they promised, uh, they always promised the, uh, it's always an Egyptian setting, funny enough. But there's the whole fellow Egyptian brother, I don't know what. Well, as long as you're yeah. Egyptian yourself, then I can say that. we won't hold it against yeah. you. <laughs> Another thing I love about you, and this I learned from you, because I'm a notorious swiper. If I know someone even has a, if I know someone won't be disgusted, because sometimes people are not used to like Arabic smells, I'll swipe them. I love swiping people, no matter how much how expensive the one is with this, I'm just a uh, fanatical swiper because I was sharing this. And that's one thing I learned from you because you will swipe things like this on me that you know I will never be able to afford in a million years. But just, uh, <laughs> it's just like, oh my God. <laughs> I distilled this when my second child was, uh, was born. So I was at the distillery I was, uh, we, had, we had gone through some insane hoops that we had jumped through to get these materials. I had flown to Brunei, uh, Kruger, he couldn't come to Brunei because of his South African passport and they wouldn't allow South Africans to come without a visa. Mm -hmm. We tried, he went to the, the embassy in Amman, the Brunei embassy, they said you need like 60 days. I said, 60 days, you know, the tree is gone and I'm not going to have anything left, you know. So I just hopped on the first plane from Singapore. I was in Singapore at the time. I went to Brunei, I got all of this wood and I flew this, you know, I, I actually, uh, this one, uh, we sent it to uh, Thailand. Mm -hmm. And then I flew to Thailand and I had uh, with me, when I, when I was flying, I had material that I had amassed. I had collected from New Guinea, right? So this is a hybrid of Brunei and New Guinea agarwood. It's the last of its kind, you know, that we had two batches. One was copper, that was Sultan Ahmed, mm. very famous. This is the steel uh, counterpart. This is Sultan Mustafa. And I say that, uh, I don't say that lightly because uh, steel to me is, is very dear. You know, like people, they look down on a steel pot. But for me, a steel pot is like, uh, is the pot. I mean, I don't, I don't prefer copper at all. I wanted to ask you actually, what the difference is that it makes? The steel the and copper? Yeah. Well, why don't you touch this? Like, see if you can like, rub your hands like this. This is what? This is copper. Yeah. So I think, well, I don't talk rubbish, but this is a more porous system. No, it's just a different, it's a different material. Mm -hmm. yeah. Now smell your thumb. And it has a copper smell. You smell it, right? Yeah, yeah. Now imagine, you, you, didn't, you didn't apply any heat. I mean, yes. no real heat, it was just a rubbing, you know, movement. Yeah. And you just touched it for like three seconds. And you can smell it. Yeah, yeah. Right. If I give you a steel item, and you do the same thing, you can have a very different type of smell. So I find that the uh, copper is, uh, when, you're distilling, when you're distilling in copper, it's like you're making a perfume. Why? Because you're mixing between two very distinct profiles. Agarwood and what you have on your thumb, mm. which is this copper smell. Steel is inherently is closer to the oud smell mm. than copper. You know, it's like it, it, it complements it rather than you know, uh, contrasting with it. 
So you see what I mean? So it's like when you put copper and, and agar with all your resin together, it's like putting two very distinct notes. It's like putting like musk and sandalwood. Mm. And then you have a cord. It's like an atar. If you take steel and agar wood, rather than a cord, you have a fusion of this like one note. It just becomes inseparable. Yeah. So the secret to the uh, my like uh, my favorite distillations like Sultan Mustafa is at the very very top of those is that they're made in steel. How, like how long have they been making um, oils? Like going back, is it like something that's centuries old? Well, I mean, you know, like distillation is like, uh, you know, I think even at the time the Sahaba they had like what they used like the past, it's a very traditional method of, you know, like old as back then, years ago, seven hundred years ago. Seven hundred years ago, I mean, just the, you know, like if you go to Laos now, you probably see the same thing. Yeah. Go to Assam now, it's the same thing. Just like a, a steel deck, firewood underneath, yeah. very basic, you know, like uh, funneling, you know, uh, apparatus. Nothing fancy, no Pyrex, no, uh, you know, mm. just like a, like a very simple, it's just a lid with some basic like vegetable starch to seal it. Okay. And that's it, you know, that's it. You know, rose oil has been made for millennia. Yeah, yeah you know. But uh, that's the secret of, of, uh, of Sultan Mustafa is the copper, is the steel. Whereas Sultan Ahmed, which is, has this floral, like a, like a, almost like a bouquet, is because of the copper. Now, I wasn't intending to give any of this away, and if anybody comes to you now and says, well, actually, you know, copper does this and steel does that, you know where you heard that first. Yes, yes. <laughs> painted on by some guy. And, uh, by some artist. You know what I'm talking about, right? Of course. You go to certain shops yeah. and it's got all these black bits, but if you go any further and... It becomes white. white. Yeah. Now this, if you go further, it only becomes blacker. <laughs> so where would this come from? This came from Borneo. And this is a type of uh, kinam. So, let me ask you, sir. Yes. You would never burn this? Well, I would never burn it, I, I would heat it gently. In very small... Um... In very small, like this is the same tree actually. Yeah. Right, so these are the scraps that I use for my personal uh, mm. enjoyment. Yeah. Yeah. I want to put this back so I don't like drop it and yeah. crack it something like that. You know. It's okay, right? you know, it's, we appreciate the easy sale, you know, it's okay. <laughs> no need to explain anything. I don't anything. Need to take that massive credit risk. <laughs> <laughs> so this is the same tree. You can see the same kind of crystals inside here. Some problem of turning. I just turned 43, oh. and they uh, suddenly everybody's printing everything more blurry. <laughs> it's very annoying. Soon I'll have to hold this out this far to just see. You. Right. <laughs> oh, subhanallah. I don't know. That's the thing. It's like you know, like people talk about what love is and stuff, and you think of relationships and that I love this person, I love that person. Um, and it's so rare to have something that you see mm -hmm. or experience from the beginning and you just love completely. And you don't have to bother about getting to know them or anything. No, but it's like the love, you know, love at first sight. If you, if they, if they, I mean, if you can just love that, I mean, this is... I, uh, no, no, I hear, that. <laughs> I hear pronounce you a bad man wife. See this trick? And I wish I'd aimed higher. <laughs> You lost that chance. You have to. You have, now. You have to be faithful. Oh, this is like. But see, this is your setup. Yeah, it's because I got the other, the the one that you 
I, I kind of f fought off you. And which one was that? It doesn't it is this um, almost like blue ceramic? Uh, ceramic oh right, yeah, yeah. It does not smoke like this. Right. Well, you need to teach me. The way it's set just up. crank it all the way up. I did, I did. Yeah. It doesn't do. That is like this. I mean, this is actually going at the same time. No, but this smokes. Yeah, I mean, I mean smoke. This. I mean, that's that's a different that's a different thing. Like what? smoking is like a, it's a more uh, what do you call it? More Middle Eastern experience. Yeah, but this this is the Japanese way of experiencing yeah. it. Right? Yeah, much more delicate. Yeah, I mean, you just hold that and you just like, like, bliss out on that. Whereas if you inhale all the smoke, yeah, pretty soon you're gonna get a hoarse voice and you're gonna be like, uh, you know, I feel like I'm smoking again. It's yeah, like, so worth it. <laughs> I don't disagree. You know, it's just like if you're gonna smoke something, yeah, might as well smoke this. Yeah. <laughs> but this is have to teach me. Uh, so you told us have to teach me how to make this setup because I, mean, I like to have the uh, when you're sitting there to just fill the space of it mm -hmm. with the smell. Mm -hmm. I like to take the air out of you know. So this is you said this one though. This is this one. Yeah, same tree. Same tree. It's like um, I was at this. Um, I think a molded type event or something a few weeks ago, mm -hmm. and I brought some up. I had some, uh, and, and I'm staying at my parents' house while I do the work, and I had some wood. I had the wood, the big bag that you gave me, you know, in um, you know the kind of burnable everyday, yeah, uh, yeah. the cotton sopper. Yeah, yeah. And now I'm making sure it doesn't go to waste. <laughs> uh, but then I took this other wood in a smaller box that I got, and uh, we're in this, you know, charcoal burning and this about it type of event I think and so I put a nice chunk on it and it burns and I was like <gasps> oh no I go just can tell by the way it's burning and the smell and the sophistication complexity of the smell I'm like oh I'm just burning my best stuff <laughs> <laughs> and nobody else here has a clue I could have burned no offense I mean, to anybody but you know yeah. until you kind of start to know you're like oh how come this is uh, for X and not I bought uh, I love you. Uh, I owed the wood from uh, duty free in Dubai for five dollars. I, I got this whole thing. Yeah. If they can't tell the difference yet, yeah. then you're like, oh, <laughs> I just burnt a lot of. You literally burnt it. Yeah. Yeah. But it's that was good. <laughs> yeah, I guess a lot of people can enjoy it. Now, how do you compare that note mm -hmm. to the note of Sultan Mustafa? Now, I know this is a test that I'm going to fail. Like uh, when your wife asks you, like this dress or that dress, and you always get the wrong answer, and she just knows that you're. But I feel that this <laughs> the same. They are the same. Okay, thank God. Because yeah. <laughs> no, they're completely different. <laughs> back it up. Back everything up. No. no. I guess the guests at the Maulid that you went, they really did miss out on something because I guess you can really tell. I can tell. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Good stuff. Such yeah. a nice dense nugget too. Yeah. Alhamdulillah, I like to share. This thing is a passion. I like to share and it always breaks my heart. Because there is a... Uh, the things when you love old, start to love old. Mm -hmm. You have ones that are super accessible. There's some beauties like Borneo 2K or something like that that mm -hmm. are for me quite expensive. And some of them, they're very accessible to others. And then there are other ones that are um, more flawed in some ways, or more mm -hmm. this, but you still love them. Yeah. And then you swipe someone, and you can see them like, you know what I mean? Like you think they're going to go and wash it off, lift it, like, oh, it breaks my heart. Because <laughs> you want to share it so much, you know? Of course. But, uh... Oh. So I'm guessing that the Mustafa is not cheap. The Sultan Mustafa? Ah. The Sultan Mustafa is not cheap. Something fell. Yeah. Oh, it did? No, maybe it was just... Uh, no, nothing. <laughs> Hallucinations from the canal. <laughs> <laughs> I see. 
good good hallucinations. Yeah. So this one, yeah. this That's is nice. Sultan Mustafa's first cousin, which is which is one hundred percent New Guinea, no Brunei component. Actually, I should have asked you to explain first. Oh, how would I, <laughs> how would I know? You're, uh, I mean, you're you're already trained in the, in oud appreciation. It almost makes you want to cry. <laughs> oh, this one is. Uh, you know, it's like. Wow, Subhanallah. Let's not let's not mention the name of this one. Did I already mention it? No, you said the cousin. The cousin. Okay, forget it. Why? If I mention the name, then this will be a big problem. Because uh, I have to sell the house. No, no. I only have this much. It's like one of the ouds that I have the least amount of. So when would you have made that? I made this at the very last month of 2013. I left the pots cooking and then I had to fly all of a sudden to Singapore because my second mm -hmm. child was born. Yeah. And you sell them, huh? Yeah, unfortunately. I mean, what can I do? It's like, uh, if I don't sell them, then I, it's like I stop being Ansar. It's like, it's like sell it. I don't want to sell them. I want to sell something else. Yeah. But if I don't sell them, then it's like people then don't know that it's me still. They'll say, like, oh, that he became like the other people, or like, uh, he's not the, the guy we thought he was in terms of the quality, you know? This, um... So it's like, you have to give what you have in order to be who you are, kind of thing. Ugh. You're a philosopher, so maybe you can explain what, uh, what we should do in this situation. I mean, uh... Well, I made a rule to myself now. Because it was such a delight for me to bring, when I was at the Sohbah, to bring you mm -hmm. and um, see Adam and stuff and, and that you have a taste, I'm sure, I don't know if you probably have some around, but of uh, the Maroc LTD, which I bought for you. I mean, maybe that was bought in Dubai even, maybe. I think possibly. Must have been, yeah. Must but have it's a handwriting been. date, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, And uh, so I made a rule now to myself that uh, whenever the bar gets halfway down, I stop using it. Right. Because I love the idea of like, hey, remember, remember? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Because yeah. don't, I don't think you get them back. No, you're never going to get them back. I mean, this, these are irreplaceable. I mean, Sultan Mustafa is like also, like, uh, subhanAllah. So. Yeah, it's enough to make you want to cry. Yeah. I swear to God. There's been yeah. many things about this trip that... Uh, or moving or surprising? Well, I don't doubt that in the least. And just seeing the wood paneling mm -hmm. of the mimbar, mm -hmm. and knowing that one of you guys makes Yani, makes that I mean, like, by there's himself. somebody that exists. They could make, and I was saying, to, you know, earlier, and you, you know, and I, I hate to reuse old material, but right. I just, you know, I always wonder, wondered, like, if a pygmy for some tribe, in God knows what, or some very isolated person, saw a, uh, you know, Rolls Royce, would they tell that this is a luxury thing? You know, the stitching on the chairs, or they'd never seen anything like it. I always wondered about it. Now I'm coming and seeing your calligraphy, which I know nothing about. I'm only starting to get curious about it. Yeah. Or the sibhas, or the wood carving, I know nothing about. And yet I see this thing and I know that this is something like exceptional. Yeah. And rare and precious and beautiful and something, well, I know nothing about qualities, different types of wood, I know zero, and yet I know that this thing, uh, I don't know how to explain it. It's just the spiritual experience just like arrests you before you can yeah. let the, the intellect get engaged and then start thinking. It's like you can immediately feel it. That's called art. It's art. Yeah. It's like but immediately you, you are possessed by a feeling, almost like as if you caught a virus. Thank you. So Yusuf, lover of the arts. 
lover of the smells, yeah. the sights, the spiritual states. No, it's thanks to you, man. I really... Yeah, it was a really cheesy thing to say, but having met you, and I was so, so like, so, was so kind of, kind of, so wary about you in the beginning. And had I known, like, the huge amount of gifts you were going to give me in my life, I would have uh, never believed it, Yanni. I really, Yanni, I, I thank you so much. Well, it's, it's, uh, I sh I'm the one who thanks you, actually, alhamdulillah. It's, uh, it's an honor to have you, and, uh, but just out of curiosity, what were you worried about? <laughs> We have a heavy selling pitch, you know, it's like... I mean, do you feel like, that, I, that I'm trying to sell you anything? No, no, not now. No. But you sit there, you sit there and you walk out and you're like, this is why you don't have a nice car, you said. <laughs> this is why, like, you know, but... I don't give a shit, I mean, that's, you know, I don't give a shit about nice cars and stuff like this. This is what makes me happy. You gotta follow your heart. I mean, you know, like, getting a chance to share it with some... People. And I have a couple of people, like in the prayer room and stuff like that, and like, you know now, you can share. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, yeah, I just want to, yeah, it's like sharing love, isn't it? It is. And you know, the thing about the car is like, uh, the minute you buy it, it's like, that's it. It's, it, it. You, you drive off and it, you lost like 30%. Even in your heart. Yeah. Most of the stuff. Uh, what did the Sheikh say about the marble shower? He enjoyed it for an hour. Yeah, <laughs> it's true. I mean, I know all the stuff I've done in my kitchen, bathroom, etc. Possibly it'll be uh, fleeting, and yet, the, oh, I mean, this stuff it, it gives me. Um, and this is something else that uh, you give, you've taught you've taught me this mm -hmm. is to buy less mm -hmm. and buy the best quality yeah. that you can possibly afford. Yeah, because. Every time you put it on, or this, or that, or use it, you will get joy out of it. But the problem is if you have 40 of them, that are of medium, medium quality, that are in the closet, unused for many years, on this and that, it all becomes garbage. But if you have this one thing that... You know that it's like, perfect. Yeah. You know? Thank you. Yeah, thank My you. pleasure. My pleasure.